So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Welcome to the Galaxy S21 FE 5G unboxing and first impressions. Now I went with the olive green color, wanted to do something a little bit different this year. You could see Galaxy S21 FE 5G. This is the first mainstream Samsung phone getting launched this year. S22 series should be coming soon, but you can see you're getting a USB cable in the box and a quick start guide, so not much. I also decided to pick up these. They came kind of with the package. They were giving a credit, so if you always pre-order Samsung devices, they usually throw in a great bundle. So I got this S-View flip cover, and this didn't cost me a thing, just had to get the phone. Same with this one, a slim strap cover. Not sure how I'm feeling that orange, but it does contrast pretty nicely. And then we have a silicone cover right here. We'll see how that looks in a minute. We'll just go ahead and cut right there, and then we'll just go ahead and cut right there. And then we'll just go ahead and lift it out and see what we have here. So here is the Galaxy S21 FE. I'm going to go ahead and peel out the plastic. I'll do it a little bit slower so you can just... Man, you only get that once. And first impression so far, first thing out of the box, clean, a little bit cheaper feeling with the polycarb back but clean, like it's like it's like a good feeling, cheaper feel. I don't know how to describe it. It's similar to what we've seen, I feel like, with the Galaxy S20 FE, which this is replacing. So if you had that one, love that, you'll probably end up loving this one as well if you do an upgrade. But I kind of feel like that is a mashup between these two phones. It's like the size of the S20 FE with the design of the S21. So definitely a pretty decent look. Let's see what else comes in the box here for this phone. We do have a SIM card tool. We always have, we always need those when we are getting a new phone. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. So a USB cable, and that's it. They're slimming it down, kind of going the way that Apple went, to be honest with you. You'll see they just got the cable in there. You know, I, I don't got time for this. Just, just get it out of here. I just don't got the time. Let's go over here and take a closer look. So you can see right here, we do have ourselves the volume rockers, 5G antenna right there also the power button, which we'll go ahead and turn it on. What I like so far is that, you know, this is a flat screen. It's got a similar vibe as the S21, so no curve action right here. If you like the flat style, you'll really like this. Also, it's kind of got, I'm not gonna say a squared body, but it's not curving too much here. You'll see it's got the traffic light camera. I like to call it that, because it does resemble to me a traffic light, but I like the sides of this phone. They do feel quite nice. They're aluminum, so that's nice. You can see the punch hole camera up there and some battery out of the box. At least it's not dead on arrival, pretty nice. You can see bezel, a little bit of a tiny chin down there, nothing too major. Thin bezels around the edges. Overall, I gotta say, modern design. So so at this price point, not the most premium feeling device. I mean, there is more premium, but you know, I'm not too mad because the trade and incentives they're throwing in on this, get this thing down to the $300 range and then you're getting a really good deal here for real. Okay, so unboxings have got a little boring over the years, but a couple things I am noticing right here is that they actually included something a little fun on this box. You can see they put a bunch of emojis and different emoticons and things like that on here. So you could see just a little bit more interesting than your typical box, but it doesn't feel super premium. It just I just noticed that it's just something small. And also I wanted to say one thing. When I seen this olive green on the website, I was not a fan, but I still wanted to try it because you know I wanted to give it a go. But I really like how it looks in person. You got this like lighter aluminum around the edges, and then it contrasts nicely with the back. And while polycarbonate doesn't feel as premium as something like a matte glass texture, at least that feel is not too off. And you are gonna have this in a case most of the time, so it probably won't matter all that much. So here we are in the setup. You do get an optical in-display fingerprint sensor, so we're just gonna go ahead and set it up, see how quick it does scan. Pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and skip through this Samsung account stuff. I'll do that later. I just wanna explore the Galaxy really quickly here. Now with the One UI 4 and Android 12, you do have more of these matching colors now, so it's a lot more customized to your flavor. I really do like that. And then you do have more permissions you can do, and they'll show you these tips. I'm gonna talk more about all these feature sets in my full review of this phone, but right now I just wanna go ahead and just get right into the device. And let's go ahead and finish here. So we're now in the Galaxy S21 FE and think of this phone as like the last, the ending of the S21. They're gonna go to the S22, but you don't have to spring for a premium phone because they launched this one for you. For those of you who just don't wanna pay 
that price. What's really nice about this phone is it still comes with a 120 hertz display, so it remains to be a smooth phone, just like the S20 FE was. That's good that they kept that, and you don't gotta pay a grand like you would have to do for some other phones to get a 120 hertz panel right here. Now this is not gonna be your super high resolution, this is gonna be just a 1080p like panel, so you can expect something like 2400 by 1080, but still that's gonna make out for 411 PPI across a 6.4 inch screen. And what's really neat about this screen is that this phone is not you know, that common. The 6.4 inch size is not really common anymore. So if you like that sweet spot of a size, but you think like something like a 6.1 is too small, something like a 6.7 is too large, this might be the perfect size for you. This is not very common, 6.4 inches. So very nice. Now, one thing I will say is the weight of this phone actually feels quite nice as well. Let me bring out my scale really quickly here. And I will go ahead and just measure this quickly just to see what we're getting. Now I'm seeing weight measurements of around 177 grams and it's right about there. You can just round it up It's exactly 177 grams. So what does that mean? That means for the size, it's gonna feel pretty lightweight and very easy to manage day to day. You're not gonna be getting hand cramps and stuff inside of this one. Let's get out of Google News really quickly here. But you know, just another Samsung phone, but definitely up to date here, getting that zoom camera if you don't wanna pay for a premium tier phone to get that zoom camera. So that's the Galaxy S21 FE. I will say one thing though that you might not like, this phone does no longer support expandable storage. So if you want a card slot, you're gonna have to pass on that because you're not getting it here. You're gonna have to go with the storage level you want. You can get the 128 gigabyte of storage or you can go ahead and get a 256 gig model. So make sure that when you buy this phone that you do get the amount of storage that does suit your needs. For me, I went 128 gig. I thought I needed 256, but I remembered my S21 Ultra, I only got to use, I only used about probably, I'm gonna say about 70 gigs. So just kind of know what you use and then get the phone that matches your usage. So out of the box, it comes with One UI 4 and Android 12. So it's way up to date right out of the box. And this phone also has a Snapdragon 888 CPU. It has eight gigabytes of RAM, which is very nice. You can get six gigs of RAM, I think if you get the lowest tier model on this phone, but that's still gonna be enough because Samsung has been optimizing the, the OS and it's been a lot more smooth here on their One UI software. So it's not really gonna be a major deal. I found the S20 FE to be pretty good performer as well, even though it didn't have the highest end stuff inside in terms of RAM and things like that. I wanna go ahead and take a look at this phone in terms of these cases that they include really quick. I'm not gonna use that strap right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in this case. And man, that is clean. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty clean on this case right here. That is gonna be the strap cover case. You can get this thing, and they come in different colors depending on which Samsung S21 FE you go with. So if you want a different color, you know, you can get a different color case to match the one you're going with. Now, silicone cases, I've always loved silicone cases just because they have such good grip. You don't want to drop your phone, things like that. Get yourself a silicone. They feel good. Their con is that they attract lint and dust sometimes. Really noticeable on darker color silicone cases, but if you get a lighter color like this, you'll be pretty happy. Just a nice feeling case overall. Really do like it. Most manufacturers do make, or a lot of case manufacturers make cases like this, but when you get the official, you know you got the official because the brand name's on there, at least until it wears off. So that's a, I just like the silicone. It's a solid case, you know, to get free if you do pre-order this thing or if you order it. They, 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 they do keep the, uh, the promotions going on for a while. So even if you get it now, you should still be able to get some of those discounts and get some of these cases without having to pay an extra charge if you order it on Samsung.com. And no, they didn't pay me to make this video. I'm just telling you because that's what I did. So I'm just being straight up with you. So this one's giving me a little trouble. Let me get up in here. And this one right here is gonna be one of my favorites, the S View cover. I actually think this gives it a more premium feel right here. Now this is gonna show you the time and date and stuff on the side. So you don't gotta open the phone just to check some basic information like the date and the time. And man, I gotta tell you, that is clean. Like this feels very premium in this case. And this is kind of got a, I actually think this feels a little more premium than the phone itself. So. This is why I'm saying you don't really even need to get you know a premium build phone because the case you're rocking it in is gonna be solid. And this phone, it looks solid in here. I got the fold case that looks similar to this and this is reminding me of that. And that phone has a glass build, but when you got the case on, you really can't tell. 
So Galaxy S21 FE looking solid. So a couple other things I wanna mention with this phone, the battery life. Now you're gonna get 4,500 milliamp hour and I think that's a pretty sizable battery for this device as this is not the largest screen, it's not the most highest resolution. I think this is gonna have some solid battery life. I will report that on my review. I'm actually gonna be switching over to this phone so I can give you a solid review soon. So get your questions in what you wanna know with this one really quickly. I wanna look at the wallpapers before we head up out of here. That's something I always like to do on these phones when they come in. Check it out, you can see you got a good solid six, but I'm probably gonna say go find your own if you don't like these. Some of these are solid. They, they put like basically one for each color that you can choose from. You can get this thing in graphite, white, lavender, as well as this olive. And uh, that's pretty much it, There, there's a few colors. So you know, let me know your favorite color down below. My final first impressions and take on this phone is this, this, you can just tell that Samsung knows what they're doing with phones, but they took what they're really good at in the premium line of their phone and they cheapened it down just a little bit to bring you, the consumer, an even better option that maybe doesn't have to stretch your wallet as far as something like an S21 line or an S22 line. So if you guys do want to be in the realm of the Galaxy devices, and you don't wanna pay ridiculous amounts for a phone, this is the phone to get. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna really like this one. Here's my Samsung hacky sack. I forgot one thing before we leave this video. How am I gonna, how am I gonna do a first impressions without looking at those cameras? And I could tell you already just looking at them. Look at that, you're gonna get 30X zoom. These are gonna be right up there with the S21. You get that 0.5X. And I'm sure Samsung, as always, throws in, throws in a ton of nice features in here. And yep, you can see it right here. You got night mode, pro video. No director's view, it doesn't look like, so you have to reserve that. But you got food mode. Man, this is nice. You're getting a full camera suite here, single take, portrait. You're getting a full camera experience here on the lower price point. And I'm not saying low, it's $699, but I'm saying lower than you know the higher end tier of their devices. If we go to video here, we'll see what we can do in video. You can go all the way up to UHD 60, which is good enough for me, I really like that. On the front, you can go all the way up to UHD 60 as well, so they're at least matching the iPhone 13, which is nice here for this device. So anyway, that's it for me. Galaxy S21 FE unboxing and first impressions. Let me know what you guys think about it, what you wanna see before the review. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.